Hey guys, this is Camfree15 back at it with another video for you guys. And I'm back with another My Hero Academia anime episode review. And we are talking about the first episode of the My Villain Academia arc, um, which is a highly anticipated anime adaptation of the My Villain Academia arc that everybody in their mom has been crying about. Um, and. It also seems that, well, we finally get it, and people are still crying and complaining. Okay. Look, for my sanity, I'm not going to rant and scream at the top of my lungs now. One, I'm about to get into the reasonings. Why I did not make a video last yesterday. Um, because today, every, almost everything that I missed this entire weekend is going up today. Um, so... You manga viewers from My Hero Academia, you're gonna get your manga chapter review today. Um, I just gotta split the videos up and find different things. But other than that, it'll be a pretty hectic day for me uploading and recording and stuff like that. The reason, one, obviously my co-host, The Red Wolf, isn't here to talk about the first episode of My Villain Academia. He actually went to Mex Mexico again. Um, so yeah, he's not here. But if you wanna know the reasoning why I did not do an episode review, um, yesterday for My Hero Academia. Um, well, I got my second shot of the COVID vaccine. And first night after I got it, I originally got the shot on Friday. Um, and I was completely fine on Friday. And then yesterday I woke up literally sick as a dog. Um, first thing I had freaking threw up and I was essentially in bed the entire day. So I cannot freaking do anything and I just slept in all day and I felt like crap. I still, in a case, still feel like a little bit of crap right now. Like my stomach's still kind of uneasy, but I think I just got to eat some food. Um, but I'm feeling a lot more better. I didn't have a major headache like I did um, last, last yesterday. So uh, I feel fine and I feel strong enough to do the video. So that's why I was out. Um, I was at the second dose of the vaccine and uh, hey, sometimes you just have a well put reaction to it, unlike some other people do. I've heard some people don't have a complete reaction to it. I guess I'm one of the few people that had like a legit reaction to it where my body's adjusting to it, everything. So hopefully that, um, that encourages you guys, if you haven't taken the vaccine yet, to get the vaccine. I know maybe being sick for maybe a day um, will probably suck if you end up getting the same symptoms I had, but. I say it's worth it so you don't, well, you can still catch obviously the, 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 vi the virus if you are vaccinated, but you have a higher chance of not catching it um, than um, catching it if you're not vaccinated. So again, um, just for the grand safety things, I would say I would highly request, just go get vaccinated. You know, if you want things to at least get to some semblance of normal normality, then just go get the vaccine. Like. It's funny how I, I know I'm going off topic for a bit, but I find it hilarious how people say they want things to go back to normal. Yet they're the same people that refuse to get the vaccine when it's like actually proven that even though it's un, even though you it doesn't prevent you from getting COVID, it heightens your chances of getting it. And if you get it, guess what? That's one more percentage closer to normality. Don't we want that? Anyways, um. Yeah, let's get into My Hero Academia. Um, now, I didn't take any notes, but I can remember most of the story points. So we finally get the first episode of My Villain Academia. And like I said earlier, it's the thing everybody in their mom and the entire My Hero Academia fandom um, has been crying about. Where is My Villain Academia? Why are we not getting My Villain Academia? Um, and we get it now. And typical, typical, typical. It's like I thought. You can't please everybody, huh? I said this last week. If you don't like how they did My Villain Academia from the first episode on and you're the same people complaining, drop the rest of My Hero Academia Season 5 and just wait for Season 6 to come out. And if you don't like Season 6, then drop the series as a whole. Artie, I'll do you one extra favor. If you don't like how they're taking the My Villain Academia story, you can A, go back and read the fucking manga, um, of this arc, or you can just go be the manga only fanboy you want to be, and you can move on and just only read the manga of My Hero Academia. 
I'm not shitting on the manga. I think the manga is great. I'm a manga reader myself. But again, I think people are blowing way too many things out of fucking proportion for this freaking season. Season five, again, do I have to literally alliterate myself again? I think season five, yes, does season five has its flaws? Yes. I'm not saying season five is perfect, but let's not say season five is like bad, like people are out making it be. And if you disagree with my point, you're more than welcome to disagree with my point. I would like to hear your reasoning in the comments section below. But I think season five is getting unnecessary hate and it's mostly coming from the manga fanboys. Guys, the people that love the manga to death and they prefer manga over anime. Again, your preference, not mine. I just like to see stuff adapted from manga put into the anime. And that's what we got here. We got My Villain Academia. You guys asked for it, they finally give it to you, and you guys still have the same old crybaby bitches. Oh, they cut out freaking the spinner stuff. Okay, big deal. Who's to say they might not put that in the spinner fight later in this arc? My God, they're complaining about a backstory that got cut out, okay? And to be honest, yes. Does it give more character? Does the backstory to Spinner give him more character? Yes. But let's be honest. Nobody gives two shits about fucking Spinner. I know his backstory expands his character and makes him a better relatable character to some people, and it gives you more understanding to him. But out of all the League of Villain members, He's the least guy I actually give a fuck about. There's actually other characters other than Shigaraki in the League of Villains that honestly are better than fucking Spinner that I care a lot more about. And especially with what I know what happens to those character storylines by the time we get to the Alt War arc, there's reasonings behind why I care about certain characters more. Again, people are just judging season five when the season has not ended yet. They're just saying this stuff. They're just complaining. Season hasn't ended up, hasn't, hasn't ended yet. We have like five more episodes. And you guys, one episode into this arc, are already complaining about it. Well, how about this? You just stop watching season five, you're sick and tired of it, and you think it's the worst season of My Hero Academia. No, the reasoning behind why people are hating season five is because it's coming from the manga fanboys. And two, the main reason why people are mad is from the standpoint, they rearranged the arcs. Now people say, oh, they did that so they could cater the movies, but hey, whatever, fine. Blame the movie when the movie's making millions of dollars right now in Japan. It hasn't even came to the States. It's like I said last week, when the My Hero Academia movie comes to the freaking States in the United States of America, you're gonna be the same damn suckers that go up into a movie theater, pay $20 at least, that's ticket plus popcorn and all that other BS you wanna buy at a movie theater. And you're gonna be the same suckers freaking going to the freaking movie theater when only weeks ago you were ripping the freaking movie being made. You're gonna be the same suckers going to those movie theaters, watching My Hero Academia Movie 3 World, he World Mission. And you're going to be coming out of that movie theater saying, oh, this movie was fucking great. Don't understand that shit. Don't understand that. I, said that I, don't, I just don't understand that. Same old suckers complain about the movie. Same old suckers go to actually support that movie because they love My Hero Academia. And that's their excuse. Oh, but I love My Hero Academia. I'm a fan of My Hero Academia, so I'm going to see everything My Hero Academia. But wasn't you the same people that were shitting on the movie, being created, being made, being developed during the time of season five. Don't spare, spare me with the BS. Spare me with the BS. I'm gonna call people out how I'm gonna call people out. I don't care. If you disagree with me, disagree me. I better not say, I better not see, oh, you thought the movie, My Hero Academia movie was great. Don't even bother seeing it. Don't even bother getting it on DVD then if you hate it so much. That's what I'm saying, people just find I literally feel like season five is being blown out of proportion. I honestly have enjoyed season five of My Hero Academia. So to people's point of saying, oh, it's the worst season and it's absolutely terrible and stuff like that. Listen, I'm not trying to say season five is perfect. Yes, it has its flaws. 
But let's be honest. You can't say season five has been an enjoyable raw watch. Now, if you don't feel like that, hey, that's your opinion, not mine. Personally, I've gotten some enjoyment. And I've always said this. I said it last week. You don't have to watch season five of My Hero Academia. I'm not forcing you to. It's your own choice that you want to watch it. And I already knew it. One episode in, then everybody's happy that they're going to be happy that they get My Villain Academia. I'm already hearing complain, complaining and trashing of it of one episode when the season has not ended completely yet. I said, analyze the season of an anime, especially My Hero Academia, when the entire series, when, or the entire season as a whole is done. I'm not gonna point out, but there is a specific YouTuber that's ripping the anime. I didn't see his video, I just saw it and I was like, eh, fine, rip it. Because they cut out backstory to Spinner. Listen, I'm not saying you have to like what the anime is doing, but don't come out and freaking rip the anime's fault. Maybe you just, again, like I said, had too high of expectations for an arc that quote unquote, back when it was made by in way back in the manga form, from what I heard, Shonen Jump, the freaking higher ups, not fans of this arc. Now, I'm not saying that the anime should do a piss poor job at it because, oh, the higher ups didn't like it and the manga was out for it, but hey, it is what it is. Listen, by the time we get to season six, you'll be the same people coming back to suck my Hero Academia dick because the war arc is utter greatness. And you're gonna be the same people be like, season six is the best season. Same manga, same manga fanboys. Right now, what's going on currently in the manga is like, I can't wait to see this fucking adapted. But if they do anything wrong there, in that whole manga stuff, you're gonna be the same people complaining. Whatever. I, I, I'm sick and tired of the trashing of My Hero Academia Season 5. Honestly, I think it's been pretty enjoyable. Has it been perfect? No. I'll call it the flaws how it is. It's not perfect. Yes, can the them cutting out the spinner backstory be a little freaking um, annoying? Yes, but Ninja, they got five episodes left. Again, like I said, they can't fit almost everything into it. Maybe they might have to cut something down. And again, like I said, they might freaking focus in on the Spinner backstory when he gets his fight for this representative arc. You clowns see something that's not there and then you just don't think to the future. Maybe they'll put it in a future episode when he has his fight in the arc. Good God. You, you, people will cry, 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 cry. So, okay. But mostly, I think the reasoning the hate is for this season of My Hero Academia is really coming from the manga fans. From my point, from my vantage point, I haven't seen any anime only complain about season five. It's mostly the reason why season five is getting all this unnecessary hate, this blown out of proportion hate. It's coming mostly from the manga fanboys who read the manga and they're just mad that Endeavor Agency arc and um, My Villain Academia were switched around even though this episode was great. Anyways, let's get into the episode again. I'm just gonna go off things from the top of my head. So you see the episode start off with the League of Villains confront Gigantomagia and literally all the League of Members attacks have no effect on Gigantomagia. Like Dobby uses his flames and he freaking, I kid you not, just freaking Gigantomagia just walks through him with utter ease, no damage taken. So that eventually what happens is you hear this guy start sp- you, you hear All For One's voice on this little speaker thing, and he's like, Makia, and Makia obviously hears it. And we find out from, obviously, doc, the doctor um, that Makia um, is essentially, I guess you can say, All For One's little puppet, his little right-hand man in a case. The, the thing um, All For One uses to go, I guess you can say, destroy things. So they're taken to the headquarters of Dr. Ujiko, Yes, the same doctor at the start of the series who was uh, telling Deku he has no quirk. Um, and we see him where all the, in his like little base area where you have all these freaking nasty freaking vials and test tubes of all these high end gnomus and stuff like that. And mind you, My Villain Academia takes place two months after the last events where we last saw Deku and everything. So we saw these ugly looking gnomus like there's a gnomu with like m- multiple heads on it just disgusting stuff like it's really gory 
They're not really gory. It's really graphic. And like I said, I've told my co-host many times, the tone shift in my hair academia, especially, Brian, when you get here and then when you get to the war, like, it shifts on a dime. My hair academia, where it was happy-go-lucky kids trying to become heroes, that's going to be gone by the time we get to the war arc. After this, it's going to be legit darkness, despair, and it's going to be gritty. And the tone shift definitely has changed. Um, and you can see here, you find out, obviously, his name's Dr. Ujiko. Dr. Ujiko makes a reference about Shigaraki's family, and we kind of get a flashback to Shigaraki's past. Um, obviously, we see that Shigaraki was on the streets and all for one picked him up and kind of manipulated him and said, I'll be here for you, young child. Um, you know, I'm the hero that you need. Obviously, we know that all for one is a manipulative bastard because he played around with Togara Shigaraki or Tomura Shigaraki and stuff like that. Um, so that whole thing, that whole thing happens there. Um, he brings him back um, and stuff like that. And you can see, you know, Dr. Ujiko runs in in this whole backstory where, you know, we find out that Shigaraki killed his parents when he was a kid or killed his family. And I know the Shigaraki backstory now. They're probably going to go more in depth in the Shigaraki backstory um, later in this arc, um, probably near the tail end of the season, probably with maybe second and last episode and they'll go into the backstory. But um you see flashbacks to like a dog, a little girl, which is probably a sister, um, and some members of his family. And it's like, oh brother, what the hell happened here? And it's kind of dark and gritty and stuff like that. And that's what his hands are. The hands are, the hands on his, he has all over his body. That's his family member's hands, which is actually pretty damn disturbing, which essentially like it puts him at ease in a way. So. Yeah, but um, essentially Dr. Ujiko is like, listen, since you're going to be the successor to All for One, you're going to have to tame Gigantomachia. Um, you're going to have to make him realize, like, oh, you're the successor. So, yeah, so they go back and, um, you know, um, Gigantomachia, they confront Gigantomachia and Shigaraki is like, I'm going to be the new successor to All for One. And obviously Gigantomachia is like, you're the successor. Oh, please. Uh, and we see where it's like we get, like, some you know, cut over time where typically we're literally Shigaraki's like the one guy fighting Gigantomachia with like literally next to no sleep. Um, well, mostly other the League of Villain members are doing their own things and they're fighting and they're alongside trying to help out Shigaraki, but most of those members actually get rest and realization. Shigaraki is the only one that doesn't. Um, and then that's when, when Gigantomachia takes these occasional breaks and so that's kind of when they take their breaks too. Now, during one of this break time, they get a message from this guy named Reed Destro. Um, and essentially he's kind of calling on and he's like, oh, uh, I captured one of your uh, comrades and stuff like that. So uh, I want you to come here and we all want to discuss some stuff like that. But just to let you know, uh, I got over like a million freaking soldiers against my side. So if you think you're gonna come out of this alive, oh please, you're not. Um, so obviously, Redestro's jacking the stick against the League of Villains. He's like, well, come within the hour. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to just kill your friend over here and be done with it. So obviously, the League of Villains are thinking like, what should we do? You know, should we freaking go save him? Is it a bluff? Is it a lie? And Shigarak is like, well, well, we'll just go take it to them. Because what's the point? And who knows? I'm going to use, in this whole case, I'm going to use Gigantomachia. Because guess what? He, if he does have 1,000 troops, well, guess what? Just bring Gigantomachia over here, and Gigantomachia can do the work for us. And guess what? We can take out their little main dudes, and guess what? We can uh, save our buddy. And that's kind of where the episode ends off. So next week, uh, we get into the whole portion when they get into Deka City and stuff like that. So obviously, we know at the um, that... Apparently, Shigaraki, at the end of this, he is some deranged lunatic and he blows up the entire city or decays the entire city as a whole. So leading up to that whole scene. But uh, yeah, but that's what I thought of the first episode of My Born Academia. That was in Venfall. That was great. It was amazing. The opening, they changed the opening mostly for the title of My Hero Academia. Like they made it decay a bit in reference to My Born Academia, which was dope. So I like that a lot. Um, even the next episode preview 
seems to have a different tone of music and they even like it's got more black and gritty stuff in it but um i enjoyed this episode as opposed to so-called season five haters but hey that's just me not my problem so other than that i'm gonna get it for guys if you guys enjoyed this video uh leave a like put in the comment section your thoughts on the first episode of my villain academia as well as hit the subscribe button to get more my Hero Academia content. Again, like I said, I will be doing the manga chapter review later today. Um, or it will be on the channel. I don't know what's going on first, but yeah. But um, other than that, I'm the guy for Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And I want to check out this video. Until then, guys, I'll catch you guys next video. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace.